Hello. <laughs> Sorry, get a little cheesy here. It's Austin at Homeowners Financial. We are talking about solar. Solar is a thing and it's popped up a lot on transactions. So thanks so much for watching these YouTubes. The whole intent is to give you more information, education, so you know what's going on in the loan process, whether you're purchasing, refinancing, or even selling a house. Again, solar is a thing. So solar, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac came out with directives in December of last year that everyone was kind of like, what, things happen in December? and kind of got ignored. So I really want to stress the importance of this. If you have solar on your property, there's essentially three different ways that it's done. Now, the first is what's called a PACE loan or a HERO loan. Now that's attached to your property taxes. That is a whole nother Ballywick. That is typically a problem in most all lending solutions. And if you're selling a house, will need to be paid off prior to closing. So please, 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 whole separate Ballywick. What we want to focus today on is your standard solar, like Sun City, Sun City Solar Run, different things like that. And you're either buying it in full or you're leasing it. But either way, there is a lien on the property for that debt that you're incurring. Now, if you've paid it off in full, that lien should be released. You should have proof that you do not owe any money. Great, and that's all we need. But if there is a lien outstanding, if there's money outstanding, you're like, I'm not quite done paying off these guys, and it is a debt on your property, either way, it's gotta be included in both your debt to income ratio and your loan to value ratio. So on the debts, typically we think of your mortgage, your taxes, your insurance, things on your credit report, car payments, but solar's gonna be one of them, and that's gonna be now included to qualify. Same thing on the loan to value. So you think of uh, easy math is, it's a million dollar property and you're borrowing 800,000. Well, that means you're at 80% loan to value. Now, if you have solar and it's $100,000, which would be some crazy pants solar, but if it was $100,000, now that is 900, because 100 for the solar, 800 for the loan, and that is 90% loan to value and gets that million dollar house. So it's very, very impactful. And if you're selling a property or you're buying a property with solar, again, if it's paid off, great, we just show that it's paid off. But we need to comment that how it impacts you both from the debt to income, the loan to value, but also from an appraisal standpoint. Appraisers have to comment on the marketability of it in the area. They have to determine that there's another comparable that has the type of solar you're looking at, not the company type, but the bought or the financed or the owned in full side of things. So when we're talking about solar, we gotta remember this is counted. This is a thing. So any questions, please let me know. And if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, let me know. It's Austin at Homeowners Financial. Thank you much for subscribing. Any questions we can do forward and make a great day.